all right folks here we are man back with another episode we are in week four of jarvis humphrey road to glory series his senior season man the second and ten that we dump it down to the fullback and he picks up a nice yard nine yard gain on the play i mean and like i said i know the decision i mean the update decision on jarvis future but like i said i don't think i'm not allowed to say it just yet but here we are 31 we're gonna let it go like I said in previous videos, man, Jarvis seemed to trust his arm a little too much. He definitely need to work on his accuracy for the next level. I think that's the number one thing he need to work on next, next, at the next level. Here we are, 4 through one We're going to go for it. And yeah, we do get the conversion, man. And we move the chains for 11-yard pickup right there. But, yeah, man, it's second, first and 10 right here. I'm really enjoying this series as he dumping out down to Bennett, who picks up seven on the play. But that's one thing and I, I really think he truly needs to work on, man. He has all the talent in the world, but you can throw the ball through a brick wall, but if you can't put no accuracy on, accuracy on it, 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 it's no point. As we hit the tight end right here, and the receiver should have killed that block right there. Otherwise, that would have been six. All right, second and goal right here. After that huge pickup, man, it ain't no sense trying to pass. We just going to run it in, and just like that, we, we, we are up, man. Seven is up. And the defense done their job. First and ten here. As we checking things at the line, they bring a corner blitz. And the offensive line picked that up beautifully. And, and once again, did he catch that? No, he didn't. That would have been one heck of a catch. Second and ten here. Top back pass. The offensive line is definitely doing their job and holding their blocks. And we gun it in there to Ostrander, who picks up 21 on the play. None of this would be possible without the offensive line. Not just them, man. The whole entire team, man. But this all starts up front in the trenches. You can have the greatest quarterback in the world, but if you don't have the offensive line protecting you, you won't be a good quarterback. And Jarvis won't have run, but he is his receiver. He he could have got decent DC yarder, but he decided to, to throw it down the field to pick up 45 yards on the play. Second and 10 here. Oh, he noticed something, so he definitely going to check to a run. Now, Howell takes it up the middle, and he <laughs> rumbles and stumbles his way for a 10-yard rush on the play. That's going to set up first and goal. Now, that's, I think that's another thing that he's definitely good at. He's not superior at it. It's beginning the end zone again, man. Let's go for a second passing TD. He definitely recognizes coverages. And being that, sometimes he can't get ahead of himself. He recognizes the coverage. He thinks he can fit the ball in any tight window which he can't so that, that's why i say that's something he definitely needs to work on he recognized the coverages but he tend to trust his arm a little too much now first and ten here we'll play action pass and usually the tight end is open on this play oh yeah busted coverage and if he, if he would have led him that would have been a touchdown that would have been a touchdown but first and ten here we are driving relatively well on this team once again, oh, tight ends a quarterback best friend, man. Y'all know the slogan? We up 21 zip. And the defense is really doing their job, man. Definitely doing their job. Flags for pass. Oh, he got him beat. He got a step. Throw it. Come on. You had a step. Holding on the ball too long, man. Too long. He should have let that go to the circle. Circle is wide open. Definitely had a step on him. But second and 18 here. We got plenty of time. Two timeouts. Oh, yeah. Step on them. That's what I'm talking about. You should have did that the previous play, man. Let's go. Almost 300 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. And we up 28 to nothing. Right there. Oh, yeah. Good slant across the middle. Timeout. We want a touchdown, but we will set up for three. The first and ten here. Coming up on 46 left. He definitely he definitely sees something. Like I say, he definitely recognizes the coverages. And he letting it go to the receiver who picks up 38 on the play. And we're gonna hurry it up, man. We definitely hurry it up. 32 seconds left. Ain't no need to rush, but we got timeout in our back pocket. So we want to come away with six, but we will settle for three. First and ten here. Five wide receivers. Oh yeah, right there. Get out of bounds. Ah. Should have got out of bounds. 
And two seconds left, man. We're going to settle for three. And then the kick is up. And it's good, man. We up 31 zip. Going to do the second half. All right, man. Second half action right here. Our defense is definitely pitching a shutout, which is very, very rare. And he guns it to his receiver, man. These receivers are getting open all game long. That's why I say it, it's it's not just offense line and Jarvis, man. It's definitely the entire team. And once again, good ball placement right there. Definitely good ball placement. Pickup of 31 on the play. But like I say, the reason this kid Jarvis is shining because of this entire team. It's just it's this no one man show. Definitely not. All the players doing their job and they making Jarvis look good. He just the quarterback is the leader of the team and he's definitely showing that. But 12 yard rush right there. That's going to set up first and goal. First and goal right here. Coming up on two minutes left in the third quarter. All right. Oh, come on. Get in the end zone. Fight, man. Come on, man. That should have been a TD. And he's over 100 yards receiving. A second and goal. We're going to punch this up the right up the gut, man. We're going to show y'all that y'all can't stop us. And we they definitely can't, man. We up 38 to zip, man. And I'm very, very surprised at our defense, man. You see that big goose egg on the scoreboard. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Ostrander, man. You 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 got to turn on the afterburners, man. You should not have got caught. Pick up a 56th on the play. 19 from 25, man. Not 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 a bad game, man. He definitely showing his scouts that he definitely can sling it, man. And if that didn't show off his own strength, I don't know what was, man. That was a absolutely bullet. Look at that. A absolute bullet. And that's another episode down, man. I'm going to keep them coming, man. Big shout out to GG9 for allowing me to do this. And as you can see, the player of the game, man. Definitely player of the game. But as I always say, man, shoot for the stars or whatever you do in life, man. Because if your dreams don't scare you, you ain't dreaming big enough. I promise you not. But as always, deuces, and we out.